Hi everyone, it's Leslie Tagorda here again, and tomorrow is another full moon day, the second full moon that we get to have in Libra. So think about it as a, another blue moon, a Libra full blue moon. Um, it's super exciting. I know everybody's been talking about it. Hi, Jennifer. I'm going to be talking about you because your, your post inspired me to come on live right now. I know I go on live just like totally randomly. Um, hi, Ms. Michelle, um, but with tomorrow's full moon, so like the full moon, like we all anticipate the full moon. It's beautiful. Everybody knows it's there, and like people talk about the lunacy that happens. But part of the lunacy that happens during the full moon is because that the moon is opposite the sun, right? So full moons are always a balancing act. And if we, in our own free will, our own insanity, are not trying to balance out that energy, we drive ourselves into frenzies and we do stupid things, right? <laughs> but if you're super intentional about how to channel your emotions during a full moon, you can really use the energy to let go and release the things that the full moon is activating for you. So the full moon in Libra, our second full moon in Libra is really special because it's at the 29th degree in Libra. And anytime a planet is in like in a transit at 29 degree or if, even if it's natal, what the theme of that 29th degree planet is closure. You've learned the lessons that you're supposed, well, hopefully <laughs> you've learned the lessons that you're supposed to learn about that particular energy in that particular sign. So tomorrow, the energy of moon, the intuitive, emotional self in the sign of Libra. Libra is about balancing, it's about relationships, it's about beauty and appearances, all of those things. What have you learned and what are you willing to accept and close out of the things that are no longer serving you, right? So when we think about full moon in Libra, um, about the we, about relationships, have you been getting yourself lost in relationships? Are things feeling balanced for, for you? Have you been putting too much emphasis on like your appearances and not actually like putting emphasis on like what you really value. You're only like doing the superficial things. Have you been putting other people's needs over your own needs or vice versa? Is there a balance, right? So at the opposite end of the spectrum tomorrow, um, the sun is, um, is still in Aries and Aries is all about me, right? Aries is about the self. It's about the ego. It's about achieving new heights. And it's very, um, not in a bad way, it's, it can be very self-centered. So when we have a full moon in Libra, the moon is in Libra and the sun is in Aries, it's balancing that we and me. So um, Jennifer Rhodes, um, she's also in the Savvy Luminary and she posted something about how she rearranged her schedule for tomorrow's full moon to go dancing and if there's any specific rituals that would be really good um, for to to look at this full moon in Libra and just going dancing is perfect. So Jennifer is um, an amazing dancer. She studied lots of partner dancing like tango and um, salsa and oh, what's that one from Colombia? I can't remember the name. It starts with the B. I think it's a B. Anyway, I can't remember. But dancing is actually a perfect form of ritual for full moon, especially if you're dancing in partnership, because when you're dancing in partnerships like the tango or salsa or anything like that, it is really about the balance between the we and the me, right? So depending on if you're the lead in um, in the duo or if you're the follower, you both have to really communicate at a really, um, at a deeper level to be able to move the dance forward. And so if you're working on releasing anything, releasing things that are not holding, that are not serving you anymore in terms of relationships, this is like the perfect way to let it all out, right? Let it out, like when you think about full moons at the time of releasing, so you can like burn things. And when you think about dancing, you are burning things, you're burning energy, you're moving your body and what a but what a perfect way to make into a ritual the full moon in Libra. So the other things I wanted to kind of talk about 
is um, one of my favorite moon astrologers, um, Yasmin Bolin. She's an, um, an English astrologer. Some of the questions that she asks us to ask us during this full moon are, where have you been too concerned with your appearances in general? Talked about this a little bit. Where have you been thinking too much about others and neglecting your own needs, right? Like this is like perfect in thinking about business because like when we're thinking about partnerships and relationships. It's not just like romantic relationships. This could also be business relationships, like your relationships with your clients or relationships with vendors or relationships with contractors. Um, is there an imbalance there that you need to like reprioritize? Um, another question from Yasmin Bolin is, have I been too easily influenced or gullible and unable to decide for myself, right? This topsy-turvy thing of a moon opposite the sun is like for people that have hard times deciding, this is one of those kind of seesaw things, like you're trying to balance oppositions. And so how do you, like one of the things is if you're having a hard time deciding, what do you need to do to um, really go deep inside and really figure out the best decision for you. Um, and one of the things, another thing that Yasmin Bolin asks is, have I been living my life through somebody else? Right. So again, a perfect thing if you're thinking about your business and your brand. Have you been trying to be somebody else and not being your authentic self? This goes to the Aries sun, right? Are you copying other brands, trying to look like other brands, say other brands because you haven't done your inner work to really figure out what you're supposed to say, how you're supposed to show up? authentically I know that word is used so much nowadays but it's uh, being authentic is speaking your own truth not speaking other people's truth so that's a really amazing one have you been living your life through somebody else through that idea of comparison and competition because if you're really running your authentic brand that is aligned to your highest good you shouldn't be <laughs> um, and have you spent enough time beautifying your life, bringing pleasure into your life? Libra is ruled by Venus, the planet of pleasure. And, you know, one of the things that we talk about when we either, you know, overcompensate, overeat or overspend or overdo anything that's not healthy for us, it's because we're missing pleasure in our lives, right? Um, there's an amazing book by Susan Hyatt called Bear. And she talks about how our inability to have willpower is really because we're not creating enough pleasure in our lives. So where can you beautify your life? Where can you bring pleasure? So I would love to hear how you're going to spend this second full moon in Libra tomorrow. It goes, um, it's full, I think somewhere in the wee hour of like 4 a.m. Pacific time. You can do the math for the rest. Um, how will, what will you release? What will you, how will you restore balance in your life, in your business um, with the theme of partnerships, with the theme of beauty and pleasure, with the theme of being your authentic self in relationship to others. All right. Um, one last Last closing thing um, I've noticed already with the full moon my husband is much more of a romantic than I am and I can tell that he's getting to be much more lovey-dovey he's really feeling um, the romantic side of this Libra full moon all right everyone have a great one please share with me what you'll be thinking about um, and releasing during this full moon ciao bye and